In this lesson, we are going to implement admin dashboard UI. If you log in to the system as an admin, I'm gonna let you know how to log in as an admin. If you go to your code, use a router in the backend, create admin route, and by entering the email and password at this point, the sign in part, you can log in as an admin. When you log in as an admin, we want to show a dashboard menu here. And when user click on it, a dashboard like this will be shown. In this lesson, we're not gonna work on the charts and boxes here. Uh, we are going to put a menu right here, dashboard sidebar like this, and also the dashboard page without any content. Filling the content is the topic of next lesson. Let's go for them. Here is the plan. First of all, we need to update header.js and check if user is admin or not. If it's admin, we're gonna show a link for dashboard. Open header.js in the frontend folder, src component, and there we go. In the get user info, as well as name, we're gonna get is admin. And right after cart, check is admin. If it's true, I'm gonna show a link for dashboard. Backtick, link should point to slash dashboard. And the, the title of this link is dashboard. And close it. If user is not admin, render nothing, empty string. Okay, let's check the result. I'm gonna run npm start on the backend and in a new terminal, cine frontend, npm start for frontend part. Uh huh, at this point you can see I have dashboard right here. Let's make it like this create more space and change the font here to regular or normal instead of bold and then go for creating the dashboard sidebar. Open style.css and go up to get to header links. Yeah, right here. Get rid of font weight bold and for brand set font weight to bold and also create a space like this, padding right half a rem. Great, very close to each other. For brand, you can set padding left to one rem. Aha, uh -huh. great. Very close to this one. And we are good to go for dashboard screen. If you click on dashboard screen, you see page not found. Let's fix that. Open your explorer and go to a screen and right click new file and set file name to dashboard screen. Inside dashboard screen, we need to create a screen object. Const dashboard screen equal to after render and render. It's after render and it's the render one. Here we're gonna return dashboard. Let's export dashboard screen like this and then go to index.js to add dashboard screen to the routes dashboard equal to dashboard screen. Press tab to import dashboard screen in index.js. This time it should show dashboard and we are good to go to implement a dashboard screen like this. First of all, we are going to implement a component and set the name of component to dashboard menu. It's gonna render only the left part of this screen, the menu you see here. Let's go for it. Inside component, 
right click new file and set file name to dashboard menu and inside that create a component dashboard menu and like always it's it has a render method what I'm gonna return in the dashboard menu is a div that contain a ul and inside that ul there are a bunch of links let's do that return backtick and press enter create a div and set class of this div to dashboard menu menu inside this div create a ul and this ul contain some li's the first li contain a link and this link points to dashboard slash sharp slash dashboard and the title should be dashboard 2 close the link and close the li if you check the final version you see when i'm in dashboard the dashboard menu is active or selected when i click orders the orders one is selected so i need to check if i'm in dashboard screen select this one and change the style of this let's do that class equal to dollar sign here i'm going to put a javascript expression props dot selected selected equal to dashboard then render selected otherwise render empty string i need to define props as a parameter for render method so if the dashboard menu is in the dashboard screen i just set dashboard menu as a selected let's close the ul duplicate li for orders and products orders products change this to product and change this one to orders and also change the link to order list we're gonna implement that later and product list let's export dashboard menu here export the file dashboard and we are done with the dashboard menu let's go to dashboard screen and here i'm going to use dashboard menu but before using dashboard menu i'm going to define a container dev and set the class name to dashboard let's get rid of dashboard string here create template literal define a dev and set the class of that dev to dashboard inside dashboard i'm going to define the sidebar and the sidebar is dashboard menu component let's render it here dollar sign dashboard menu press tab to import dashboard menu and call render function but this time the parameter should be this object selected menu is dashboard that's it for rendering the menu part it's time to render the content of dashboard create a dev set class of this dev to dashboard content and create h1 set it to dashboard and here it's time to enter information and chart info and charts will be added here close it close this div and close the dashboard div great let's check the result as you see here i have menus and i have dashboard and info and chart will be added here i'm going to convert this simple style to this one let's go and add some style to dashboard open your style.css scroll down at the very end and right here create a comment for dashboard 
The first class that I'm going to add is dashboard itself. Uh, I'm going to put sidebar and content next to each other. Let's set display flex and make it responsive flex wrap to wrap. Display flex, flex wrap to wrap. And make height full height like this. Also set heading one a bit smaller and create a margin around and fix the extra margin of it. Dashboard H1, font size to 3 rem, and set margin for top and bottom 1 rem and left and right 0. After setting H1, let's go to dashboard screen and at this point what I need to do is to go to render method of dashboard menu and here if you check I just created a div here but I didn't close it let's close that and then let's go to dashboard screen and check the results aha uh -huh. and then let's go to dashboard screen and here I'm checking the result as you see this time menus and contents are next to each other let's go add some style to the menu open style.css again and right after h1 it's time to add style to menu dot dashboard menu set flex 1 1 20 rem and create a very slight gray background color f0 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 also there is no need to have padding for ul inside dashboard menu set dashboard menu ul padding to zero and i'm gonna set anchor inside dashboard menu full width dashboard menu anchors display flex create a padding around them one rem and make padding from left a bit bigger and set justify content to space between let's add other style for dashboard and then go for dashboard content for dashboard menu anchors when hovers happens background color should change make it a bit darker c0 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 and if the li is selected i need to change the background color of anchor and also the color dashboard menu if li inside that is selected for anchor set background color to darker and set color of link to orange f0 c 0 4 0 4 0 make it you know a different color make it as a selected item color okay it's time to set the class for dashboard content dashboard content let's make the flex to 4 1 80 rem and by having this let's check the result aha uh -huh. this time as you see it's very similar to this one and set the color to f080 40 and also and it's time to set the dashboard content class dashboard content set flex to four times its width should be greater than dashboard menu 4 1 80 rem that's it and also create a padding like 1 rem aha uh -huh. you know it just created a space between dashboard and this we just created the admin dashboard like this and if you check that with the final one right here you can see that they are too close to each other and in next lesson we implement the boxes and charts right here okay let's review what we did in this lesson first of all in the index.js we added a new screen and set it to dashboard screen and then we created a component to show menus inside the sidebar of dashboard screen. Also in the header, we check is admin property of user information. And if it's true, 
and at the end we create a dashboard screen that create a dashboard template including a menu section in the left and a content section in the right for next lesson we are going to use this dashboard template to create admin product page until that lesson bye bye